I remember in some of our conversations, you would share how Thermo Fisher under your leadership in India was doing some very interesting stuff and how you were able to not only support uh, the, the government efforts and everything that was happening at, around that time, but also keep the business not just running, but uh, maybe uh, take a few leaps. Would you be able to share some more detail about that? As COVID pandemic unfolded, it was very clear that um, the country needed testing at scale to begin with. Um, and there were very few producers of uh, tests. In fact, the whole testing environment itself was emerging. We were one of the first two companies in the world to get US FDA emergency use authorization for our tests. And our job was to bring to the country as many tests as we could. Uh, remember, there was a global scale allocation happening uh, during those times. And, um, and given the sheer size of the country and the potential impact that the pandemic would have had and, and eventually did have, unfortunately, uh, we did manage to convince our leadership team to make sure that India got amongst the highest priorities globally. And then, of course, uh, getting through regulatory approvals in the country, uh, managing a supply chain within the country in a very constrained environment. I remember we had a few lakh kids lying in our uh, airport in Bangalore and we just couldn't move them because there were no flights, there were no commercial transportation logistics firms operating during the first week of the lockdown. So we actually had to hire our own cars, put in ice, ice containers and, and move these uh, goods from Bangalore to Pune and Delhi by road, uh, crossing so many state uh, government boundaries with the uh, notifications, etc. So from doing those kinds of things to actually influencing the scale up of testing in the country, the country was at, at, at testing a few hundred tests per day. And I remember Dr. Balram Bhargava, who was the head of ICMR at that time, gave us a task saying, well, how do you get up to 10 lakh tests per day to begin with from a few hundred tests? And that involved not just, you know, a regional strategy or, or a district-wide strategy, but also it involved um, repurposing some of the RT-PCR and instrumentation capabilities that the country's institutions had from R&D to, to clinical applications. And that involved close working uh, with, uh, with the customers, with the regulators, with organizations who have who never done testing before and helping them equip to become test centers. So we were able to influence the way the country scaled up testing uh, by making sure that we maximize the resources of what we already had. We maximize addition of new capabilities, help set up new labs, um, help calibrate and keep our instruments running, did multiple training programs, and eventually learn to you know, truly leverage the power of digital by creating virtual uh, environments in which people could understand how to set up the, see the workflows, how to do the testing, how to set up new labs. Um, and, and, and step by step within a matter of months, we were up to that 10 lakh level as a country. And I'm very, very proud that Thermo Fisher was one of the companies which made it happen. And we really, really had a very big role to play in that whole testing scale up. Not just in terms of the number of kits we supplied, but also in terms of the sheer uh, strategy itself of uh, having a very distributed model of testing in the country right. rather than having a few centers. Personal protective equipment is another area where we were at the forefront of supplies in, in, in working with our customers, working with the government and making uh, this whole uh, scale up happen at a speed which we have never ever operated before. So really it was speed at scale. Imagine being able to produce 1 million kits a day, hmm. three months flat from right. start to finish. So that's the kind of scale up we did. And I think that's what the, the COVID taught us, which is that uh, we have to pull the resources in the team, uh, work horizontally and, and bring people from everywhere they are in the organization, operate seamlessly and make uh, impossible things happen really in a short span of time.